What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube family? Man, I got something to show you today. This new strategy. This new strategy. This new strategy. I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi off right quick. All right. So, this new strategy. I'm going to call it the ping pong method. Okay? Terry, why are you calling it the ping pong method, man? Well, thought you wouldn't ask. So the reason why I'm called the ping pong method, y'all, is because the candlesticks literally do a ping pong between the EMAs. Let me say that again. The candlesticks literally do a ping pong between the EMAs. EMAs? What? If y'all don't know what the EMAs are, those are my exponential moving averages, okay? So my exponential moving averages is the secret sauce to my ping pong method. So if you haven't watched my other videos, go watch the other videos, okay? I really don't have time to explain which EMAs I do or I use, but nah, I'm just kidding, y'all. It's the 9, the 34, the 200, and that good old 50. And make sure it's ex exponential moving average. Now let's move right along and get into this ping pong method. And I'm telling y'all, this ping pong method is cold. First thing first, though, before I get to talking any further, go hit that like button. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get this YouTube channel built all the way up so I can continue to give y'all valuable, valuable information like this. Oh, all right. So I can't keep it to myself no more. Gotta tell it to you. And obviously, I'm probably gonna put this in my new advanced course. What, Terry, did you say new advanced course? Yes. Advanced course is coming soon as well. Talking about credit. Obviously, I'm talking about Forex and I'm gonna talk about how to get you a course started i'm gonna tell you how to start a course just like i did so you can go sell it to others and give it to others okay but anyways enough of that about me let's talk about this new method so the ping pong strategy what does a ping pong do y'all what does a ping pong do the ping pong right right you go ding 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 look follow my cursor okay what what does it do it says ding 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 Right? Like, you're gonna ding, 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 ding. Right? So, look at the AMAs. <laughs> Don't laugh at my sound effects. <laughs> but look at the AMAs, okay? So, you see how I broke this non AMA? Right? Shut up. What did it do? Bing, bing, bing. Right? And then bing, shut up. So, what did it do? Once it shot above and broke this non AMA, it shot up, and then what did it do? It shot back down. Okay? And then it finally shot back up. So anytime it's touching an EMA, or headed to, headed to an EMA, nine times out of ten, it's not every time now, it's not every time, no strategy is 100%. No strategy is 100%. But it'll shoot a little bit above, or underneath, whichever one, it'll wick out, come down first before it continues to go up. Now, this ping pong method for me is really more useful on a downward trend. Okay, you can use it on an upward trend too. But the reason why I call it the ping pong method because even though you got this little three candlestick consolidation, guys, once you see it come down to this AMA, get ready to sell. Because anytime it touches the AMA, it always touches it and respects it and shoot back down before continue to go back up. So you can get in the market going up and going down. Okay? Let's back test this. Okay? So let's, let's say this is one example. But here go another one. Okay, you see how it's stuck? Let me move my cursor. So do you see how it's stuck between the AMAs right there? Right? So, there's the 20, there's Doodoo Brown, which is my 34, okay? 
And this time it actually shot above. Like I said, that happens all the time. But what happens when, when, when it's in between the EMAs? Guys, y'all see how I wig down here? So it shot back down before it shot back up. Literally. Guys, when you see a wick at the bottom of the candle, that means that must shot down first before it shot back up. And that's exactly what it did. But let me give you some more examples, some better examples, okay? It's not the daily. Let's go to, uh, was it the weekly, I believe? Okay. And actually, let's go to UCAT, because I think I've seen this on UCAT better. There we go. Ping pong method. Let me zoom in right quick. Okay. You see how this is my 200 MA up here? This is my 50 MA down here, okay? You see how it shot up to the 200 MA, wicked out. Obviously, if it wicked out, what does that mean? It shot down, right? So once it wicked out here, even though it shows bullish or green or whichever color you use to let you know it's going up, it wicked out here and shot down. And look, what's the next candlestick? Confirmation. Down. Anytime this between EMAs, it always retraces. It's like a ping pong, man. What's a ping pong ball do? What does a ping pong table do whenever it's between something? It literally is like a video game, guys. Like, bing, 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 right? Watch it. Notice it. Look, it happened here. Okay? It's between the 34 and the 50. What did it do? Okay? Let me move my cursor. What did it do? It shot up. And it shot up a little bit. Right? It looked like it shot up a little bit more. But what did it do? Wicked out. It was above the EMA. Then what did it do? Shot back down. And now once it broke the EMA, obviously that's confirmation lets you know where it's going. And what did it do again? Oh my God. More ping pong. In between what? The 34 and the 9 and the 20. That's really playing ping pong right there, right? But guess what? Why is it so powerful? Because anytime the candlesticks are between an EMA, it's always going to retrace either up or down. Okay? These EMAs are like magnets to candlesticks. The candlesticks are headed to go touch it. Look at the 200 here. Okay? What did it do? Shut all the way up, all the way up. Touch the 200. Then the ping pong method went in full effect. Then it what? Shot down. Now it might bounce off this 50 EMA. Because it's between the AMAs, right? Remember, it's between the EMAs. So anytime it's between the EMAs, what are you looking forward to do? The bounce off of this 50. It might, it might not even directly bounce off of, off of it. It might wick out down here between this EMA and then finally go back up. Again, I recommend to do this whenever it's going down. Now, like I said, you can do it when it's going up, but I highly recommend to do it whenever you're looking to get in for a sell over a buy. Now, you can get it in it on both directions. You can. But the tricky part about that is only going to be able to get like 10 to 20 pips. If you catch it in between the EMAs and you know the overall trend is going up, okay, then you're in the money. Or if the overall trend is going down, then you're really in the money. Because it consolidates between the EMAs. That's why I call it the ping pong method. Okay? It's trying to make its mind up on what it's trying to do. But at least whenever you know it's between the EMAs, you can get some money. Up or down. Go back test it. Okay? Go add those EMAs and go back test it. Let me see if I can find another currency pair. And oh, one last thing, I didn't talk about this. Uh, I highly recommend doing this on the weekly or the daily or the monthly. Okay, don't do it on a lower time frame. I mean, you probably can get away with the H4, but I recommend like the weekly or the daily because for the weekly, they be playing ping pong. Okay, they be playing ping pong a lot longer than if you do it on an M15 or M5 or M30, uh, whatever, right? Or H1. But on a weekly, it has a whole week to play ping pong with the moving averages. Okay? Look at it. Okay? Look. See how it's between what? What is that? My 20 and my 34? Look. Let me move my cursor again. Okay? Look at it, y'all. Let's zoom in. Look at it. 
when it's between those inmates, what is it doing? It's playing ping pong, going up, down, up, down. Okay? So what are you going to do? So you see it coming to touch the inmate, wicked out the top right there. Sell. Okay? Look, look. There go there my 34 again, or I call it doo-doo brown, right? What did it do? It broke it a little bit, wicked out to touch that other inmate, right? And then what did it do? Could have gone for a buy, broke this thing all the way up. And look. What even makes it even crazier? You could have continued to hell because what did it do? It kept going up. Finally broke the EMAs. But guess what? It wicked out again. Right, you see that tall wick right there? Sell. Right. Next week when it came in, what did it do next? Oh wow. It shot down. Shot down, look. Came back. Come try to come out and touch the EMA again. Shot back up. Okay. Wicked out the top. Next week, sign to what? Come down. Playing ping pong with the EMAs. Believe it or not, I'm going to show you some more examples. To pit. This ping pong method is actually pretty smart, pretty genius. Because you can catch it going up or down instead of trying to just stay in one direction of it. Just get it in both. Okay? And like I said, use it on a weekly or the daily or the monthly. Because this has all week to play ping pong between the EMAs. Okay? But anyways, um, that's all I got for y'all right now, man. Go back test it. Go see what I'm talking about. Go add these EMAs that I mentioned in the beginning of the video and just watch on the weekly how it's playing ping pong between the EMAs. Now, once it's obviously above the EMAs, then, you know, hey, then you go back to the respecting the EMAs, like the 9 or the 50 or whatever, whichever one is respected, okay? But right now, USD CAD on the weekly, or just sorry, GBP USD on the weekly is what? Playing ping pong between the 50 and the 34 because look it came down touched that uh 50 what did it do shot up now what is it going to do next i don't know but that can be also another take profit zone okay everybody want to know how to set a take profit you see the ema right there in the way you know it's going to wick out at some point so instead of waiting to that loan to get it get in at the bottom of this uh, EMA here, place a buy, right? And ride it up and catch about, I don't know, 10, 20 pips and call it a day. Okay? Notice on the weekly too, the candlestick's always changing. So, or when I say always changing, I mean it's always going up or down. Okay? Going up or down. But it's always going to be and like for this all for the rest of this week it's going to be be between these emas so if it breaks this ema and touch this ema it's going to play ping pong and come back down to this ema you follow me like i'm trying to give y'all as much example and, and explain myself as much as i can okay overall i do think gu is going to be going down but right now you can catch it going up until it does what break this ema and if it does break this ema then it's going to continue to go up but if it touches this EMA or this EMA, what's it gonna do? It's gonna go back what? Down. Money. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for y'all. Uh, hopefully this was very understandable for you and my students and anybody that's watching. Man, y'all have any other questions, just, just let me know. I got you. But anyways, this is Terry D, the one and only motivational speaker. And remember to put God what? First. And everything will work itself out. Peace.